So what do you think about the recent rearrest of the of Shoure by DSS? Rearresting of Flo, uh, Shoure is an is a man in humanity against man. It is just like assassination of justice. <laughs> Omoyele Shobore, the leader of the Revolution Now movement, and of course the convener of the Take It Back movement, was recently rearrested by the DSS barely 24 hours after his release by the same department. Well, we decided to hit the streets of Nigeria to ask people what they think about this incident because quite a number of people have condemned the act already. My name is Damlaro Kwala, you're watching Legit TV. Okay, um, the incident is a show of shame. Number one, the DSS, either they have rights or not to uh, rearrest him. Hmm? It does not boil down that they be dragging with him inside the courts. And we see that number two, they harass the judge. And that one portrays that they have no regard for the law when you harass the judge. If you remember the incidents, that should be 2014 or so, when Fawashi was to come in, that the, the judge wanted to make a judgment. After he had won the election, that the, whether he's qualified to run as governor or not, you could see that they tear the clothes of that judge because they bring in some talks. And everybody condemning, showing that when you harass a judge, you are already trampling on the law that governs everybody so that we can live a normal, orderly, respectable life as a committee among the committee of nations. So in the essence that they are dragging with him, in fact, and it's very disgracing that even the DSS, we send one of the younger guys who does not have much experience of how to deal with such situation. Because if they are used a high rating officer, no one will show respect, and they should have come with the document, you know, politely, to show that the, the government is not a, 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 a ruffian government. You know, if they come politely, because our government, the official, they travel outside, and they see the way the other government security agency, they deal with their civilians. They do it as intellectual, as responsible, as intelligent and as uh, you know, well oriented human beings. Because we evolve to become better. We don't go back to the ages of uh, this uh, homo sapien uh, era. So they support to do it politely. And also, I, I don't support the idea of arresting the corporate in the courts. We have an incident of ESCC. When that, uh, I've forgotten the man, the one who was the manager of this, uh, the, um, um, this uh, Niger Delta Agency, that's the NDDC, he was granted bail in the courts. But he has just waited until he come out before he was rearrested. And that's one did not create commotion because they have opened their bus and he was arrested and taken in. For another, so they should not be discreeting the courts. Thank you very much. Well, well uh, if the arrest is in order, if, they are, if, if what the man commits is in, uh, committed to warrant arrest, I will not be against it because nobody in Nigeria is above the law. Okay, Shaure was uh, released, I think, um, was granted bail some two days ago, right? Two days ago and uh, was rearrested within, inside the court of the terror. It's, an, it's unfair. But earlier before that, I told uh, uh, Flip TV that, I, t I told viewers, Nigerians, that um, federal government is not being serious about it, even uh, before the first release, do you understand? They are just using that as a common plans to to calm down tension, to tell the members of uh, you know public that 
they are, they are running a conclusive or a government that uh, listens to the people's uh, yearnings. But I tell you that you can see what happened again. They rearrested him within the court of the throne, meaning they are not being serious about their promises to keep, uh, uh, you know, to obey court rules and other, you know, to follow proceedings from uh, the judiciary. These guys, they don't comply to court order rules. If court gives order, they disobey it. Court has ruled in favor of uh, Dasuki. They have also ruled in favor of uh, uh, Ezakzaki. They have ruled in favor of uh, Showore and the rest. But they are still being so adamant. They are not listening to the court order. So I flee the arresting of uh, Showore. Is an is a man in humanity against man. It is just like assassination of justice. It is another, uh, let me call it, military junta or military adventurism in the form of in these guys. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I don't know, the manner they arrest him is not good. As that they that already pay him, he's supposed to go and be coming the, the case. You know, this, this type of government is another type of, of government you want to see. Everything is behind on the present. That's what I feel for my own idea. Because if you give the court order, do something right, they will do. But after court says to say, oh, yeah, go, they obey you. And they say to say you again, for what? I don't know, this is Nigeria. But what do you think this bodes for the ordinary man, like uh, the ordinary man who doesn't even have a defense? Ordinary man, what they say. Because if it's ordinary man, even if, uh, if they can kill him, no voice. So, this type of government, I never see this about in Nigeria. Although, it's the government in Nigeria like. But in Nigeria, put them there. They say change. We change better to bad. So, but well, you know votes that time? I voted PDP. I don't vote for APC. I can't carry my single card vote for APC. For what? Why? I, I don't like their ruling. Better go where better day. Bad go where bad, bad day. So I cannot put my card for APC. The reactions to this rearrest have been overwhelming. People have different opinions about this incident, but we're still asking the question what do you think about DSS's recent rearrest of Shogore inside the court? Big shout out to uh, Monday Idara, the man behind the camera, and of course everyone out there for dropping one or two comments on this episode of Street Gist on Legit TV. My name is Dam Laro Ponla. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. Have a great day.